Welcome to Electron Line. A vector that we often use, especially in electricity magnetism, is called the position vector. We need to be able to position a point in space in the x, y, z direction. So for example, let's say we want to know the, the position of this particular point. What we do is we draw a vector from the origin to that point, and we call that the position vector. The letter that we use is the small letter r, and of course we need to put an arrow on top of that, there's our position vector to that point. If we want to define the vector, it'll have an x, a y, and a z component in the xyz Cartesian coordinate system. We can write this vector as r is equal to the x component of the vector, r sub x, in the x direction, plus r sub y in the y direction, plus r sub z in the z direction. r sub x, r sub y, and r sub z are the components of the position vector. But sometimes we need to be able to address a point in space relative to another point in space. For example, we want to find point 2, P2, relative to point P1. Well, the first thing we want to do is find the position vectors or both points relative to the origin. So the first position vector from the origin to P1 would be this vector right here. Just about there. And so let's call this vector R subscript 1. That's a position vector to point 1. And here's the second vector, the position vector to point 2. But now what we want to do is we want to find the vector that displays the position of point 2 relative to point 1, which would be this vector right here. And let's call this vector the R vector. That's the position vector that describes the position of point 2 relative to point 1. How do we describe that vector relative to R1 and R2 position vectors? Well, it turns out that the R vector, and so that's what we want to do here, so the R vector is equal to R sub 1, or let's say here, nope, that would be R sub 2 minus R sub 1. How do we know that's correct? Well, when we subtract the vector, that's like adding the negative of the vector. So this can be written as the position vector R sub 2 plus the negative of the position vector R sub 1. Now let's see if that works. Uh, where's my red pen here? So I'm going to now add to R2 the negative of R1. So we have R1 here. If I have the negative R1, I need to turn the vector around. And then I can draw this over here, parallel to R1. And this would be minus R1. If I now add those two together, if I now add position vector R2 to the negative of R1, if I add that together, I get this vector right here. And this then becomes the R vector, the position vector from point 1 so of point 2 relative to point 1, and notice that this vector and this vector is of course the same vector. That shows that yes indeed, to find the position vector for point 2 relative to point 1, we take the, the position vector relative to origin of point 2 and subtract from that the position vector of, R, of point 1 relative to the origin, and that's the same as taking R2 plus the negative of R1 Here's the negative of R1, it's simply R1 switched around, that's the negative of R1. Add this vector and this vector together, we get this vector, which clearly shows that that's indeed the same as that vector right there. That's how we find the position vector of any point in space relative to any other point in space. So remember, it's the vector is the point that you want to find the position of. First, subtract from that the position you want to do it relative to, of the point you want to do it relative to, and so you subtract the position vector of that. And that's how we find the position vector of any point in space.